Hey y'all, so I just got out the gym, y'all. I feel good, but I'm hella tired. It's 12.45, I haven't eaten anything yet, so I've been working out on an empty stomach, which is okay, but it's, it's too late, I'm hungry. Uh, I could've went harder if I would've ate a little bit before I went, but anyway, I digress. So, I uh, was in class or whatever, well, we were on break from class, and like two underclassmen <laughs> came up to, I think they're in their second semester, I'm in my fourth semester, and they were like, um, one of the guys was just like, which semester is hard? Like, how was last semester? You know, what's it like? Da, 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 da. We were kind of telling him a little bit, but he was like, I'm just, and I was like, but you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Like, keep, you know, be consistent, um, be on top of things, things like that. But he was like, clearly had some anxiety. And like, his friend was like, oh my gosh, like, um, you just gotta, like, stop being so stressed, stop being so stressed. He's like, no, I just want to know what I'm, you know, what I'm like about to be dealing with this and the third. And I just want to know, I want to prepare for it. So look, I didn't say this to him because I had to really think about it. But um, when you're in situations like that, what you have to realize, like for one, you're anxious. And for two, what you have to realize about like thinking too far ahead is that you might know all the information about what's to come. Like one way to reduce your anxiety is to know about things, like know what you're about to get yourself into. That's one thing, right? That helps. But also another thing is to realize that you're not there right now. You're not in fourth semester. You're in second semester. In order to get to fourth semester, you have to do what? Complete second semester. So you need to sometimes pull yourself out of, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next and focus on what you're doing right now. Because the best way to prepare for what's to happen is to do what you need to do right now. It's that freaking simple. But I totally get having anxiety. I totally get being like maybe like a type A person who has to just know everything that's to come um, and feels like in order to be good at something or in order to be like, okay, I got this, is to know everything about what's to come. But you're not going to know until you start doing it. And the thing is, like, you're not going to, like, okay, me telling you about what to expect in second semester at this time doesn't really serve you because how can I place this like you're obviously not ready for it because you're not there yet you're in second semester so I'm trying to see how can I word this oh I'm confused I'm trying to drive and think and I'm hungry um but it's just like my experience of fourth semester is probably less stressful because the fact that I went through third semester, right? Like there's reasons why certain things get harder or easier. And really, is it really getting any harder or easier or are you more prepared for it? Have you learned how to deal with your stress better? Have you learned how to manage your time better? Have you learned how to answer nursing questions better? Have you learned how to, you know, um, your study habits, how to work on that? You've had to grow in order to get to this, this point, right? of where you are in school. So it really, to say what's harder or what's easier or oh, it's too much, it's really up to you and how you're gonna, how you are uh, showing up. And that's why I kept telling him like, just keep being consistent with what you're doing and keep, you know, stay on top of things. That's the biggest thing is just staying on top of your routine and all that jazz. And I kind of hate giving people advice in passing because I'm one of them people like, I want to know like, why do you have anxiety? What are you doing right now? What is your like, what's the root cause of this? What's been going on in your life? How do you feel? Like I want to get to the root of it because that's how you actually can help somebody. Not just giving them a quick little tip here and there, but really trying to pinpoint what is going on with that person because once you do that, then you're like, oh, okay, I know exactly, you know, how you're thinking or what you're going through. So I have a better idea of how to, you know, how to talk to you. Because some, everybody's anxiety stems from different places. Some people's anxiety stem from past experience. Some it stems from um, them feeling like they're not prepared. Some people, they have low confidence. Some people, they, um, they fear the unknown, things like that. So there's certain things that if you know where, where your anxiety is coming from, you can work on that and then you can help the anxiety. Does that make sense? I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I need carbs and protein.
like yesterday. I am so hungry. <laughs> Look at me, I am so hungry. It's almost one o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. And I had a test, I had class, I went to the gym. And I still gotta pick up my kids a little bit. But anyways, it's cool. We're, we have money to get food, we're on our way to Whole Foods. I'm gonna make me some juice. I'm gonna make me some juice in my juicer. And we're gonna make this body body come, okay? Today is, not body, wait, that didn't come out right. But anyways, I don't wanna talk about body body goals. Um, my birthday is in four months, cancer gang gang, okay, y'all? Um, and I'm ready for it. I've been seeing changes in my body. I'm gonna do more stuff on my other channel, Stay Forever True, go check it out. Yes, I have a whole other channel, okay? That's a whole other side of me over there. Stay Forever True. Um, I love you all. Let me know if you have any questions or any topics, little quick videos like this I can do for you all. But all I can say, because I have had this thing where I overly, in the past, I've been really good at not doing it lately, over projecting myself into the future to the point where I lose touch of what I'm doing right now. I don't get what I need to get out of the current situation. Thus, I become ill prepared for what's to come because I'm over here thinking about what's to come and how I can get prepared for what's to come. But it's certain things that's going on right now that you need to take care of. The way you prepare for the next semester is to work on this semester. That's why it's a succession. This, then that, then that. They ain't gonna put you to the next semester if you don't pass this semester because they know you ain't gonna be able to do that. So pass this semester. Do your prereqs. Go do the dang on entrance exam. Do whatever you gotta do. Should I get over? Do whatever you gotta, which way should I take? No, I should take, okay, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. Um. But do you got it's like construction over here, so I don't know if I'm going the right way, y'all. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Anyways, so that's really what it is. Like, stop being because it's like right now. I'm in my fourth semester. It's this is an example of why it's not productive. I could be the type of person who could be worrying about, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, am I gonna pass NCLEX? I don't know if I'm gonna pass NCLEX. I don't know if I'm gonna pass NCLEX. But girl, you got three exams, like really like five exams that you need to pass before NCLEX even is on the table, honestly. So how about you work on those tests first? Oh my gosh, am I gonna get a job after school, like after I graduate? Now don't get me wrong, jobs are hiring new grads right now. And that should be something that you look into. That is something that you might wanna go ahead and do if you wanna have a job lined up right after school. But if you don't graduate, why do it matter? If you don't pass NCLEX, why do it matter? So sometimes you have to be mindful of what's to come so that you don't get blindsided and so that, cause sometimes you do need to know what's to come because it helps to steer how you, um, it steers the way that you, it, it creates, it helps you to steer. You know, where am I gonna, okay, I know I'm going, I know that I eventually wanna do this. So let me focus on this. So for example, I know I want to be in emergency medicine or ICU. So at certain points when we are learning about um, this is a medical emergency, that's something that I really like hold on to because I know that that's what I'm going to be seeing. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to deal with. Um, or this is what the critical care nurse would do or this patient would be in the ICU setting. These are some things to consider. My little, you know, my, uh, what do you call it? Light bulb goes on because I know that's where my mind needs to kind of be focused, right? So it's good to know what's to come and what you want to do and all of that. It helps you, right? But you still got to get shit done now. That's why they say you have short-term goals and long-term goals. That's that. It's just as simple as that. With it, when it comes to anxiety, you got to focus on what's in front of you. What is in front of me right now that I have control of right now? Because you legit do not know what's to come. There are certain things you just cannot be prepared for. The best preparation is to get shit done right now at this time and do your very best at this time. Get what you need to get out of your situation at this time. Lessons you need to learn right now at this time. That's what's going to help you, boo. And that's that's on life. That's just on life, you know, <laughs> on life. That's on period. Like that's just in life in general, y'all. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. It's hot and I'm hungry. Bye.